coffee. So I got some lavender syrup the other day, so I've been making lavender lattes and they are amazing. So hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining us. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Livisiv on Instagram. I also have a blog at Livisiv.com. Welcome to my YouTube. Please don't forget to like or dislike, comment and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos. Okay, so if you've been on my Instagram lately, you know that there have been so many new Essie polishes that I've been finding. I found the Essie Sunny Business Let It Ripple and the new Essie Expressy collection at a store called Fred Meyer here in the Seattle area. And most of the collections are already all gone. They're sold out. So Fred Meyer is kind of like a Kroger, if you guys are familiar with Kroger, but it's a little bit more like a Walmart super center. So it's got clothes and a lot of beauty, um, like patio furniture, stuff like that. So there is one Fred Meyer that I always go to. If you watched my video on the Essie Sunny Business Collection, you saw that my friend Rebecca Ruth from Instagram actually alerted me to some of the new Essie polishes. So. I went to my Fred Meyer and they had them. Since then, a lot of people have found the Essie Let It Ripple collection on Walmart.com, which also led to people finding the Fall Essie Fall 2020 collection on Walmart.com. So if you're interested in the Fall collection, it's there. And then as far as the Sunny Business collection goes, I know Beyond Polish has it. So check out their website if you're interested in that collection. So all of that basically to say that if you haven't seen these yet, where you are, just hold out because they're not even officially released by Essie yet. So most likely they're gonna be released soon. It's just that these places had them a little bit early. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for y'all. So like I said, I found the Essie Let It Ripple collection at Fred Meyer in the Seattle area. I still haven't heard anything anywhere about this collection, so I don't really have a lot of background on it. What I do know is there are six shimmery slash duo chromey slash shifty polishes in the collection, and they all have names that kind of reflect being on vacation or being out on the water. So, of course, I had to take them out on my paddleboard. Okay, and just a side note, I'm not the best at describing polishes. You guys have probably already realized that. Um, so I don't know the differences between duochrome, shifty polishes, shimmery polishes, or holo polishes. So I guess I kind of know the difference between holo polishes. I think they have like more of a rainbow type effect. But if you guys could explain to me the difference between like a duochrome polish and like a polish that has a lot of shift, or are they the same thing, or what? If you guys could elaborate, that would be great because I don't know. All right, let's get into some polishes out on Lake Union in Seattle. You can see the Seattle skyline with the Space Needle there. Just a side note, no polishes were harmed in the making of this video. You can see Gasworks Park there on a beautiful, sunny Seattle day. Just me floating on my paddleboard. So much fun. Just me and some planes anyways. There's a lot of water planes on Lake Union. All right, so let's for real get into the polishes. So this first polish here is Let It Ripple. It's gorgeous. And then we have Good Vibrations. You guys may have seen this on my Instagram. It's a beautiful polish. Next up we have Wet Suited Up, a beautiful pink. This polish is Earn Your Title. I love it. Next up, we have Tide of Your Life. And last but not least is Get On Board. All right, let's get into the swatches. Okay, so this first polish here is Good Vibrations. This is a beautiful hot pink polish with a bluish purple shimmer. As you can see in the sunlight, this looks gorgeous. I did three coats for the swatch picture and two coats for the live swatch. And next up we have Wet Suited Up. 
This is a light pink polish with a blue purple shift or blue purple shimmer or whatever you want to call it. I did three coats in the swatch picture, two coats on the live swatch. This is stunning. And next up we have Earn Your Title. This is a bronze polish with some blue shimmer and a pinky purple shift to it. You can definitely see the blue shimmer in the swatch picture. I did two coats in both the swatch picture and the live swatch. And then we have those three polishes next to each other just to give you an idea of how they look in indoor lighting. They're so pretty, love them. Okay, and now we have the namesake of the collection, Let It Ripple. This is a little bit more sheer than I'd prefer. I did four coats in the swatch picture and three coats here in the live swatch. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out my camera, so the lighting's kind of a little wonky sometimes when I move my finger. Um, still learning. Anyways, this is a pretty baby blue. It's got a pinky purple shift to it. And I'm, I'm a fan. It's a lot of coats, but it's still pretty. And then this polish, this is get on board. It's a stunning blue. I did two coats in both the swatch picture and the live swatch. This has a pinky purple shift to it as well. And it's a must have, totally. And then last but not least, we have Tide of Your Life. This polish looks a lot more teal in the sunlight, as you can see, and it's a little bit more, a little bit more of a darker green in indoor lighting. This has a pinky purple shift to it, and there's also kind of like a pond water look to it um, until you get it opaque. <laughs> and then we have these three polishes next to each other in indoor lighting. They're so pretty. And as you can see, the pond water is covered up by shimmer, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, and I 100% wasn't planning on doing this collection also, but I'm going to go ahead and slip it in there because I'm moving next weekend, and I'm not sure that I'll be able to do this next weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and review the Sunset Essie Sunset Saray collection for you. I did purchase this collection from Beyond Polish. I've said it over and over again, if you guys have not worked with them, they are amazing. They do not offer free shipping unless your order is over $150, but the polishes are so inexpensive there that it's totally worth it and the customer service is legit. Okay, so the Sunset Saray collection actually has been announced on Essie's Instagram. I think they posted something on it once a couple of weeks ago. The colors are beautiful. It's part of the Gel Couture collection. And so I wore Atelier at the Bay, this gorgeous yellow for three or four days. No chipping whatsoever. These are legit. So from the Essie website, I'm going to read this here. It says, when the sun goes down, Essie heats things up with six new long-lasting, long wear gel couture nail polish shades. The Essie Sunset Soiree, Soiree collection offers glamorous, long-lasting color with a luxurious, high-shine finish guaranteed to get you noticed on the dance floor. So this first polish is Sequins on the Rocks. Sequins on the Rocks is described as a mesmerizing yet muted berry polish. And next up we have Low Tide High Slit. This is described as a camel polish. A classy camel. A classy camel polish, not a classy camel. You know what I meant. And then my favorite from the collection, I'll just go ahead and say that out there because actually I haven't swatched the others yet, but I think this is going to be my favorite. Atelier at the Bay. And Atelier at the Bay is described as a soft and a soft and sophisticated yellow. And then we have Coastal Couture. This is described as a blush coral. And next is Chiffon the Move. This is described as an elegant sheer ivory. And last but not least is the namesake of the collection. This is Sunset Soiree. This 
is a blazing orange red polish. It's beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get into the swatches to see if Atelier at the Bay really is my fave. Okay, so this first polish is Coastal Couture. These polish formulas are amazing. I did two coats here. This could totally almost be a one coater. Once again, my lighting's wonky. Sorry about it. Hopefully I'll figure it out soon. And then we have Low Tide High Slit. Another two coater, amazing formula. There's, I have no complaints about these polishes. They really blew me away. I didn't think I would love them quite as much as I do. And then uh, Sunset Saray. Sunset Saray is amazing. This is almost a one coater as well. It's such a beautiful polish for summertime. And then you can see the three polishes here. Oh, so good. And then next up we have Sequins on the Rocks. This is a one coater. That's all I need to say. It's beautiful, get it. And then we have Chiffon the Move. Chiffon the Move really surprised me. It's described as a sheer polish, but it built up completely opaque in three coats. There's a stunning pink shimmer in this that you can see in the swatch picture, but it's hard to see in my live swatch. And Atelier at the Bay. <laughs> No comments needed on this one. This is a beautiful yellow. If you love yellow, you need it. I will be comparing this yellow to some of my other yellows in my polish collection. Let me know if you have any specific requests on comparisons. All right, so which polishes from the Let It Ripple collection were your fave? And which polish from the Sunset Soiree collection was your fave? I'm gonna have to say the Atelier at the Bay is one of my tops from the Sunset Soiree collection, as is Sunset Soiree, as is Sequins on the Rocks. Okay, and then my fave from the Let It Ripple collection would have to be Tide of Your Life. and get on board. Absolutely stunning. So keep an eye out for my blog at livewithbib.com. I will be posting comparisons to both collections probably over the next week or so, just so you guys can have an idea of whether or not you need the polishes. For the Let It Ripple collection, I probably won't have a ton of comparisons, but I will be comparing some of the polishes from the Mercury and Retrograde collections that Essie has put out over the last few years. So if you guys didn't have a chance to get your hands on any of the Mercury and Retrograde polishes, some of the polishes from the Essie Let It Ripple collection will be some good alternatives for you. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for your support. And let me know if you want a sneak peek of some of the Essie fall polishes, or if you think it's a little bit too early because summer just started today. It's June 20th today, so summer just started. But fall, mm, fall's so good. And some of those fall polishes are so good. So let me know. Okay, bye. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.